What's going on there folks? Good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster here on this Sunday, March 13th, 2022, about 12.22 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows a uh, 3.2 earthquake on the Earthquake 3D globe down along the uh, New Zealand area. I'm just coming in there, 147 kilometers for that 3.2. Let's go ahead and check out the activity on the USGS map here over the last 24 hours of activity. Hold on a second here. I'm going to fix that. Not for sure how that uh, got. There we go. Uh, yeah, so activity over the last 24 hours or so within, uh, looks like 2.5 and above for the states, 4.0 international. Uh, seen a cluster of quakes around the Philippines southward and also up along the Java Trench here. Seen a couple fours kick up here. Uh, look at this earthquake right here, 589 kilometers, almost 600 kilometer deep, uh, 4.1 there in the Philippines area. That's pretty deep movement. Uh, not too, I mean, we get deep activity here, but uh, that one's really deep. Most of these uh, close to 600 kilometer deep earthquakes we see uh, down along the Kermadec and the Fiji Islands area. This region right here gets the, uh, the most deep earthquakes. Uh, let's see what else we got here. A little bit of activity up around the Afghanistan area, a couple fours kicking up there. The Mediterranean and Middle East, uh, for the most part on this side, pretty quiet. Uh, Atlantic Ocean, aside from this one earthquake down here yesterday in the South Sandwich Trench, has uh, remained clear. Not a whole lot of activity kicking off in the Atlantic. Uh, let's see, the South America region, activity into the Peru-Chile Trench, uh, looking um, Fairly active for the most part. There's a bunch of threes kicking up here on the EMSC model, but USGS showing uh, just a couple fours within the area of Chile into the uh, Peru Chile Trench and uh, some activity up here uh, into the Middle America Trench where they've seen a, uh, a 5.3 earthquake. And also a little uh, activity up here to the north as well. Uh, close by though, 4.2. Uh, some movement out here outside of Honduras with a uh, 4.6 coming in there's that earthquake it's kind of an odd earthquake there from last night 4.6 there in the gulf of mexico just just a little odd haven't seen too much movement up there recently but uh, this whole area here around the caribbean plate has been pretty active over the past couple months here so a little bit of adjustment and movement in this region between the between the uh north american and the south uh, south american plate areas Let's see what else we got here. Well, Texas, a little bit of activity up here, it looks like. Uh, I believe most of this is from last night around the uh, Pecos, Texas area. Did see some activity kick up there, but nothing, uh, nothing new, it looks like today. Some movement up into the Kansas and Oklahoma area with uh, a couple of small microquakes. Eastern part of the country, pretty quiet. Uh, the west coast and uh, pacific pacific northwest still relatively quiet up here one little earthquake uh, 2.3 at uh, 5.9 kilometers let's go ahead and check out some details here into california there's a um, looking pretty minimal uh, no major areas of unrest at the moment um, just some uh, activity here along the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault here, a couple small microquakes and uh, a little bit of activity around the Ridgecrest region at the southern end of that fracture area in Southern California. Uh, looks like a typical day down there in Southern Cal. A couple areas of small swarming going on off the San Jacinto Fault area, one in the south and one up here in the north. But uh, other than that, no major earthquake activity uh, to report there in the west coast, Hawaii, out here in the southeast region, still uh, uh, looking a little skimpy there. Only 11 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. Uh, aside from that, uh, man, there's just not a whole lot going on. Look at this. We've got some solar weather kicking up, right? Quite a bit of activity, and the earthquake conditions are calm. The question is, are they going to pick up after we get through the um, through the space weather event that we're kind of uh, getting into? So we did reach a... KP index of six earlier, uh, earlier this morning, uh, up into the G2 storm category. Uh, it's kind of a little bit on the early side. 
that uh, activity arrived a lot earlier than uh, what was anticipated here from these uh, forecasters predicting this arrival. Uh, these guys are it's probably subject to change here. Uh, I kind of want to see exactly what uh, space weather. Let me go over here real quick. Stand by for a second. Let's see if I can find this. Spaceweather.com may have an update on it. So let's see, as predicted, of course, but it's a little early. The impact has spiked a moderately strong G2 class storm. Uh, when the CME arrived, this guy, okay, we get that. Some pretty cool pictures up there. I would love to see that one day. Uh, the timing of the CME's impact was unfortunate for many Aurora uh, photographers uh, because it was uh, pretty much daylight in the North American Europe and uh, much of North America was daylit when the storm cloud arrived. Let's see here. Geomagnetic storms could persist through March 14th as Earth passes through the CME's wake. So we'll see what happens tonight. As that uh, possibly could continue. But uh, yeah, unfortunate uh, that it was lit on the uh, North American side. So it is what it is. Sometimes the uh, sun uh, does its own thing there. And can't really accurately 100% predict it, right? Just like the weather really can't uh, predict what it's going to do one day to the next. We can kind of look at forecasts, but to be 100% certain, yeah, that's not going to happen. I've seen it all too often. Yellowstone National Park, not a whole lot going on here either, folks. Just looking at uh, quiet conditions across the globe, even in the wake of that G2 storm. So, you know, a lot of people get these, um, throwing out these questions about, well, the solar weather affect uh, earthquake activity here on um, here on Earth, you know, in the wake of like a, a large CME or strong solar flare. And, and well, I, I would have to say, uh, you know, most of the time, no. I think it's just uh, some uh, coincidences there when we do see these uh, these solar weather events here and just very minimal earthquake activity, no major movement, no no uh, major activity. This is from yesterday here, this 5.1. Of course, is somewhat typical earthquake activity throughout Alaska. But as far as looking at the rest of the map here, there's not a whole lot of, uh, of um, major movement at all. So uh, we'll see, right, when, the, when it, uh, when it like, it's pretty much passed, though. I mean, I, this forecast over here, the solar uh, ham.com site is... Uh, little old they're a little bit behind they haven't updated these yet so these are going to probably drop off here but uh, things things are kind of calm even in the wake of the cme that hit us so all right folks i'm going to jump off here uh we'll see what the day brings um I, I may be speaking too soon right maybe we'll we'll get a big earthquake today i don't know just uh right now this morning things look pretty calm and uh just not a whole lot going on here so I will chat at you guys a little bit later on. Just wanted to get this quick update out. We'll see you guys tonight with hopefully a little bit more activity. Take care, everyone. Peace out.